Chapter 4, in town, we have a di different method of punctuation. Anyone for b-ball? I'm assuming the b stands for basket, but I could be wrong. Yeah, this is definitely the last level I'm doing tonight. I've just been... I, I really wanted to play Wario tonight, because I haven't played it in forever. And two weeks is forever. At least in my case, because college. So, you know what? I wanted to play some Wario. I played some Wario. But now I'm kind of Wario'd out. And I probably will be for the next two weeks, so... It's all good. Now, honestly, this right here is one of the most interesting bosses that Nintendo has ever made. I know most people say it like, oh, um, like A, B, or C has a memorable boss fight because that's interesting. Um, like I'm trying to remember one or the other. I'm trying to remember a really good boss fight from another game. I sh I, ju I know I just watched one. Like, from somebody's Let's Play, I know I just watched a really cool and interesting boss battle that you never would expect. But I can't think of it. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. But this is one of those extremely interesting boss battles, like, okay, so, uh, so there is the boss. We're not going to him yet. Oh, and we get introduced to another cool thing that we got, need to learn about. By stomping on the ground, we actually raise people half a level, and we can use that later on. And it is going to come in handy, so... Remember it! Or I will for you, because why do you need to remember it if I'm the one let's playing? Alright. I can't remember if these walls down here need an enemy or not. They do. Okay. So I know there's a bunch of stuff back here. Oh, hey. No, this is the secret exit. Whoops. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. See, these things I remember that... I shouldn't be remembering right now. <laughs> like, I remember the... I, I just remember the most random and weirdest things. Without even trying. And then the most simple things, I'm like, oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Down to the floor. Ooh, hey. Coins. Money, money, money. Pretty cool. So, alright, that's it. There's also one of the more infuriating ways to have to get up to a bonus store, because basically what we have to do is, ow, we have to platform using these frickin' birds. And if you don't do it right, it gets annoying. So basically what you have to do with the first guy, jump a little, jump tall, jump tall, you gotta get everyone pretty much oh my god you gotta get them pretty much perfect every time because you you screw up one you've got to restart completely all right this is an enemy wall I believe no no nothing no darn it I could have sworn this was an, an enemy wall or something I know there's more than just that Hmm. Plus, we're we're still missing the uh, the what's I'm gonna call it the treasure. We're still missing the treasure. Where could it be? All right. So first thing I think we're going to do is actually. All right, we're gonna go into the boss. This is the boss. Basketball Bunny, or whatever his name is. And basically what you gotta do... Is you gotta pick him... You gotta jump on him, make him into a ball, and make a basket. He will try to do the same. He will try to jump on you. 
and make you into a ball and make a basket with you. The first person to three is the person who wins. Whoa! I'm actually going to lose this first battle. Uh, because we still haven't gotten the treasure, but I just couldn't wait to show off this guy. Because this is definitely the best boss battle that I've ever had to play. It's just really cool. It's just re absolutely original, and I can't believe that they did something like this. So, let's just wait for him. Come on. Can you not hit us here? Okay, there we go. See, I was trying to help you out. Jeez. Alright. So... How do we get down there? I know there's a way. Oh, that's right. We just <laughs> pound through the bottom. Alright. Are you... You should be. Come on, be, be the be the room. Yes. Okay. There we go. Now we can we can go back after this and kick his ass because he's pretty easy for a boss once you realize how you need to beat him. Um. And now that I say that, I'm gonna take forever to beat him, but who okay, cares? Uh, I don't care. Okay. Very first one. That's pretty easy at all. That's pretty easy at all. What am I? What? <laughs> It's not even right. That's not those not even right words say. We got the mini mini Vespa, magical Vespa. We can now be the 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 Chew Lady. We can now be Harik Hariko or Never mind. <laughs> Go watch Fully Cooley. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we just watched it the other day because our eternal president of Mac came up, and he's like, Fully cool as shit, let's watch it. I'm like, finally, I've been telling you for, for the last two years how awesome that is. And I, I, that's the other thing, I love that they actually change up the standard boss music for this fight. Aw, come on. Rather than just being like, oh. Because it is a friendly b-ball match. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that he's one of Syrup, Syrup's goons. He can still have a friendly b basketball match with him. Oh, we gonna skunk you! Boom! <laughs> oh, sorry. But you got no game in this town. Not anymore. Alright, so we got the Magic Vespa. Perfect for the town. And we beat Basketball Bunny Bouncing burning bunny. Baby bunny's burning brightly. Whatever his name is. <laughs> Do you know what a bunny fire is? Is that like a fire for bunnies? <laughs> is this about the time that I set your velveteen rabbit on fire? Because that was just a part of the test. I'm pretty sure this is a 5, actually. Let's just check real quick. Yeah, that's a 5. Anyway, I will see you guys... Well, that's the end of chapter... What is it, 4? Yeah, chapter 4. So I will see you guys next time on... Let's play Wario Land 2 with Mio Spoo, and we will move on to chapter 5. Alright, take it easy. Guys, take it easy.